I'm not going to sugarcoat it. Selling your car can be hard enough, but often it's what comes after that can be the real headache. There's not enough coffee in the world to help you deal with explaining to Brenda that no, a receipt written on a napkin and a handshake or fist bump isn't quite going to cut it in the eyes of the law. Thankfully, Vic Roads just made your life and Brenda's a whole lot easier. Behold, Vic Roads' new online transfer process, which allows you to complete your car's transfer of registration with the click of a button. Paperwork, be gone. In fact, you only need one physical form for this entire process. So if you're buying or selling a used car, sit back and let me walk you through it. I'll also clean that up, sorry. The first thing you'll need is a My Vic Roads account. Simply go to vicroads.vic.gov.au to register and answer a few basic questions. Have your license and registration handy. Now comes the admin before you do the deal. First, you'll need a roadworthy certificate from your chosen mechanic, that's valid for 30 days. Then, you'll need to pay off any remaining finance left on your vehicle. And finally, if you have any nifty custom plates like these, you'll need to head to a Vic Road service centre and switch those over to general issue plates. Once you've sold your car, either you or your buyer need to print off a copy of the vehicle transfer form found on the Vic Roads website and fill it out together. Make sure you each retain a copy and grab each other's license details to ensure everything lines up. Meanwhile, you can kickstart the process immediately by logging into your My Vic Roads account and notifying Vic Roads of the Rego transfer. You can do this for a car, caravan, trailer, truck or motorcycle. Here's how. Step one, log into your My Vic Roads account. Step two, select the vehicle you want to transfer and click transfer vehicle. Step three, Follow the next three steps. You'll need your buyer's Victorian license number or Vic Road's customer number. And step four, review your details and hit submit. It will be out of your name within two business days. This process is really helpful because if the buyer decides they want to park in a clear way shortly after buying your beloved old hatchback, you won't be blamed for it. There's also the added benefit of not needing to wait around for the buyer to get sorted and not needing to queue up at a Vic Road service centre. So you have more time to do the important stuff, like browse for a new car. And I'm pretty sure you know where to do that. If you're a buyer, you've got 14 days to complete the transfer requirements by providing the roadworthy certificate and paying the applicable fees. You can do this online if the seller has already notified Vic Roads of the transfer. Otherwise, you'll need to visit a Vic Roads customer service centre. The whole process takes around 15 minutes or about the same time as your morning coffee. Don't forget to update your toll operator, roadside assistance details, and insurer ASAP. Otherwise, that's it. Easy peasy. And remember, don't let Brenda push you around. You're better than that. Oh, I'll give you extra points if you can correctly guess how many vehicle transfers happen in Victoria every year. Leave your answer in the comments.